angel spreads its wings to comfort and protect you, to guide and to heal you, to share your pain, to share your joy. The angel is always there, never leaving your side. The angel's work is precious. The angel always loves you. The angel is forever yours, no matter what life brings, one thing is always certain, you are never alone. The bear will show you love and compassion for every single being. The bear is strong and shows you that strength doesn't mean to be without love, love for yourself and others. Welcome to all that are listening. My message is to this planet that you call Earth. We are hovering over this planet as a beacon for the light. A beacon that will be used by Petra and several others to channel the new energies to your planet. The time is here and now. We are ready and we know our channels are. The chaos you are experiencing is real but necessary to shift and release the old energies. We have to release the chaos on earth. We are ready. Are you? The angel spreads its wings to comfort and protect you, to guide and to heal you to share your pain, to share your joy. The angel is always there, never leaving your side. The angel's work is precious. The angel always loves you. The angel is forever yours. No matter what life brings, one thing is always certain. You are never alone. I cannot express my happiness to show that we can finally make it happen. The truth will come out, the truth of what you really are. And the most beautiful thing is that we are all realizing it together, making it happen together. Fire consumes everything and feeds something else. It consumes the pain and anger and feeds the love inside you. So it can conquer everything that is not necessary anymore. Feel the fire as it burns you from the inside out, cleansing every part of your body and soul. Nesha wants to remind material people that as an arm of the celestial, he sees all as a play of light. We are as close to him as a child is to a blanket, which is overlying him or her. I will come to you whenever I want, in the night, in the day. I will demolish the forest of thickets. I will leave you with nothing, but that you are my child and I am your parent. All new seeds give birth, blessings on birth of things into the earth. I will match them with my light jewels and govern the arrival to their proper location, the ultimate goal, opening the psychic circuit to the supramental, from there one can more freely communicate with the divine. Read the messages, messages that were given by souls that believe we can all come together, souls that believe we can all be one again. Souls who have taken the task of making this a time of truth. I want you to be with me as I have always been with you. Listen to what they say. Listen with your heart and feel the love I feel for you. It is something no one can ever take away from you. It is always there. 
I am source and I love you always. Who am I? The one you reach out for in pain and joy? The one that sees you in every part of your life? I am inside you and around you, everywhere you can see me. I am always here. When you praise me, when you hate me, the goddess inside you, who feels, sees and knows your desire, your pain, your laughter, your cries, no matter what, I love you and I am here whenever you need me. Blessings from the goddess inside you. Freedom is my path, complete freedom. Nothing stands in my way. I want to be completely resolved into the universe, being one with everything having consciousness of everything, being one and still being me, without hesitation, living the fullest I can be, explore beyond matter, explore beyond doubt, explore the entire universe, it is there for me to take me into bliss, and beyond bliss, to be one with all that is. I am Imhotep, and this is my message for you. I have been channeled many times. This time, my favorite channel is available for me. So stay with me and let me tell you a story. Since the beginning of time, we have been learning. All of our experiences are inside of us including the experience of oneness with everything around us. The tiny little spark that started off our life into the adventure on this planet. We know who we are now. We just need to remember who we were before that. The little spark of oneness. All that is needed is to remind ourselves the little spark will ignite and become a light that will shine like a beacon for others to remind them about the little spark inside of them. Much love and light. Imhotep. Stretch your white pearly iridescent wings. To go into the white is a great attainment of discovery. And then go from the white beyond direction before space into the divine Christ heart presence within the weightlessness of God. The Jaguar is fast and accompanies you on every journey, ready to take advantage of every situation. Being your guide and companion, the Jaguar makes you stronger to accept and ready to take the steps necessary for your spiritual growth. Jesus the Savior Mary, the mother, Mary Magdalene, the girlfriend, who was she, really? A disciple, his wife, what do we really know about her? The Bible doesn't tell us much. This is what Jesus says about her. She was his wife, his girlfriend, his teacher. She kept him sane when he was in doubt. She kept him from running when he couldn't take it anymore. She helped him follow his guidance to find his goal. She was all he wanted and more. She gave him all she had and more, without regret, without holding back. She followed him up on the cross. She took his pain from the cross. With pain in her heart she let him die, only to come back again to her. The knowledge she has goes beyond our thoughts. What she did goes beyond our thoughts. She gave herself so he could be the Christ, the Savior. 
That is what she stands for. She gave herself for the benefit of all. The people who wanted a savior. Who were waiting for him to die so they could be saved. Never thinking about how they could give themselves to save another. She knew what she did. And she did it for all of us. So we could be free of pain. Free of suffering. Our souls redeemed before God. Our souls cleansed before God with blood and pain. Why do we think only this can help us? Why don't we think only love, unconditional love, can help us? To redeem and cleanse our soul. To be one again with God. To be out there in the universe, knowing who we really are. Mary Magdalene has risen. And once and for all she is giving unconditional love to all that seek, to all that will answer, to all that are questioned. She is and will always be his wife, his girlfriend, his teacher, as he will always be her husband, her boyfriend, her teacher. Together they are one again with God, and together they will bring us into reality. The reality of unconditional love.